I got a tattoo. It's not on the nice. No. Alright. Good morning. I look bad. Hi, little one. Wee, look who it is. Good morning, pub. Anyway, hello. Welcome. Please ignore my skin. Can I just say I'm having really bad eczema at the moment? It's like basically made my whole face extremely scabby. But anyway, um, today is a very exciting day because I'm getting a tattoo. But yeah, I'm getting my very first tattoo today. I'm speaking really quietly because my family don't know. But yeah, I'm going to basically get their reaction in this video and on my TikTok. So I'm really nervous. I don't know what they're going to say. My mum and dad don't really like tattoos. This will be really interesting. They're not expecting it though because I've not mentioned a single thing about getting a tattoo in like a year. So hopefully they don't suspect anything so i thought i'd vlog this day and i'm gonna vlog later when we're there and hopefully get one of my friends to vlog it when i'm getting it done i think it's about 7 45 i've got to leave my house at about nine o'clock to go to college for my first lesson which is at 10 30 until 12 and then i'm going straight to the tatty parlor can we not fight it's so early friends oh <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee to prepare for today. Right, I'm not gonna lie, my outfit is not popping today. I'm not really, I'm not feeling the outfit, but I need to go, so I don't really care. I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing anyway in case you care which i'm sure you don't but anyway i've got this bodysuit on from nasty girl it's like brown backless um belt is from primark jeans are from asos they're by the brand only also my bag is ugly right i've changed to this backpack oh, hi i look like a steak so i'm the shower today you probably can't hear me because i'm behind the screen again i'm so nervous <laughs> She's doing it. She looks so stressed. Oh. Uh, yeah. You want a tomahawk? Is that not normal? No, it's not. <laughs> 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 so we're we'll probably best off going with the curve on this part of the island. Did you see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I've seen it now, you said it, yeah. Like chicken. Oh, I'm scared now. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like it. Okay, it's not that bad. It's good kind of nice. Nice. Alright. This is crazy. Can we decide to do it? It's so cute. <gasps> That's adorable. <laughs> You'd love it. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Is it alright? Why do I like it? Really? See, I'm weird stuff like that. I fucking love that. You good? <laughs> oh, she's a steam. You're on the G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does not feel good. <laughs> Josh, get in there. Substitute. Just break my hand. Is that how painful it is? <laughs> oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> oh, I love her. I love the fun. So I just got home. I'm going to go in and show my parents my tattoo. Ah. As I said at the beginning of the video, my parents don't know that I was getting this tattoo. They don't know that I wanted this tattoo. They know nothing about it. They're literally going to think it's not real. But hopefully they'll like it. I don't really know. Let's go. I'm so nervous, my mum just got home. So let's bring in the parents. I've got a sore. I've got a tattoo. <laughs> okay. You're joking. Is this um Wait, you get that done? Today, after college. Do you like it? That's a joke, isn't it? No. No, that's no. You can see the pictures it's of you like me getting it done. So, so that'll always be visible. Yeah. Yes. Dainty. Right, my dad's on a bit of a rant about tattoos and how they determine your career. Oh well. I'm gonna wash it with some warm soapy water, which is what he said to do. When I go back in my room, I'll talk about the pain, the cost, all the ins and outs, basically. 
Hello, so it's been about a week and a half since I got my tattoo. So I thought I would like to tell you the cost, the pain, and you know, the whole shebang. If you're wondering if this tattoo has meaning, it actually doesn't. And I know that it's quite like controversial to get tattoos without meanings, especially your first tattoo. But to be honest, I just really liked it. But yeah, I personally don't really care about if tattoos have meaning or not. I would have liked to have one with meaning, like for my first one, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much. The reason I actually got this tattoo is because I have saved loads of tattoos on my Pinterest board for so long, and this is the only one that I've like consistently really, really liked. So I thought that was a good enough reason to get it, to be honest, because all the other ones I've kind of gone a bit iffy about, but this one I've literally had saved on my Pinterest board for like four years and I've liked it every single time that I see it. So that's the reason I decided to get it. It's basically like a half sun, kind of like a sunset or like a sunrise type situation. Um, but honestly, I just think it's pretty. <laughs> like, Sorry if that's annoying to you guys. I know some of you watching will be like, that's a terrible reason to get a tattoo. But you know, it's my body, so I don't care. As far as pain goes, it was quite painful. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting it to be as painful as it was. I don't really know why, but I prepared myself as if it wasn't gonna be any pain. So that's probably why I was like a bit shocked at the pain level. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I've got quite a low pain tolerance, but I hide it well, you know? Um, he did say that this place is a bit delicate because it's really close to like the crease of my arm. So the closer he got to this, like it hurt a little bit more. It literally took about 20 minutes, so it was really quick. He went over it a few times as well because he said that he wanted the lines to be really thin and everything and he wanted to do it well. Right, so I'm gonna talk about the healing process because obviously it's been like a week and a half, so it is like healing. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know too much about like the tattoo healing process. I just know that like, your skin gets a little bit scabby and then it peels off and then the tattoo kind of fades a bit and stuff like that. But with my personal experience, I didn't really notice a lot of scabbing. There was one day where I looked and it was like a tiny bit crusty. <laughs> that sounds gross, but like it was hardly scabby at all. So I have noticed it is fading a bit and it's going a little bit patchy, but he did say that I'd probably need a touch up so I can just go in and get a free touch up. So yeah, that's not really a problem. I'm probably gonna get it touched up like this week or next week. Yeah, for the healing process, it was literally fine. Like I was expecting it to be so much worse. Yeah, as I said, mine healed really well and it just needs a bit of a touch up. Right, so now about the price the juiciest bit it cost me 30 pounds or to be specific 31 pound 50 it was really cheap because as i said it only took 20 minutes he charges 60 pound per hour and mine obviously only took less than half an hour and then they do a student discount which is 10 percent. so i got it for 31 pound 50 however i would definitely say don't go to somewhere that's just cheap make sure you do your research and go to an actual like trusted good place i had known somebody that went to this place and she got a few tattoos and she really liked them and i saw them and i really liked them i thought the line work was really good and it just looked like something i would want if that makes sense like the style they done on her was the style that i wanted so i was like do you know what i'm just gonna go there um because she said it was really good and she really recommended it so that's why I went there. But yeah, definitely do your research. Don't go to somewhere cheap just because it's cheap because it's on your body forever. Like, it's better to pay a little bit more considering it's on your body forever. That's my advice. <laughs> I was just lucky with the price, you know? This is what I kind of like about it. You can't really see it if I'm wearing, like, long short sleeves. But if I'm wearing a sleeve that's slightly shorter than this, like, you can just see it there. I'm really weird with, like, change and things being on me, if that makes sense. When I have eyelash extensions, they sometimes make me really anxious because I like pick them out because I, I feel like kind of claustrophobic and a bit trapped in them. This is gonna sound really dramatic, but this is actually how I feel. Also, if I have acrylic nails, I always feel the need to like pull them off and I don't like the thought of not being able to get something off of me. But because I can easily hide it, like when I'm wearing a t-shirt, it's not super overwhelming. So I would say if you're getting your first tattoo and you are a bit like me where you don't like the thought of something being stuck on you, if that makes sense, then just get it in a place where it's easily like hideable and then it's less overwhelming and you just kind of get used to it. Every so often I like see it and I'm like, oh, that's cute. But like if I get a bit overwhelmed, I can just wear a t-shirt and it's covered. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But yeah, subscribe if you want to down below, hit the thumbs up button and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all, bye. Mwah.